Habit, Wikipedia Audio Habit is equivalent to habitus in some applications in biology, the term refers variously to aspects of behavior or structure, as follows. In zoology, habit usually refers to a specific behavior pattern, either adopted, learned, pathological, innate, or directly related to physiology. For example, mode of life is a concept related to habit, and it sometimes is referred to as the habit of an animal. It may refer to the locomotor capabilities, as in, feeding behavior and mechanisms, nutrition mode, type of habitat, period of activity, types of ecological interaction, etc. Behavior The habits of plants and animals often change in response to changes in their environment. For example, if a species develops a disease or there is a drastic change of habitat or local climate, or it is removed to a different region, then the normal habits may change. Such changes may be either pathological, or adaptive. In botany, habit is the general appearance, growth form, or architecture. For example, in zoology, habit usually refers to aspects of more or less predictable behavior, instinctive or otherwise, though it also has broader application. Habitus refers to the characteristic form or morphology of a species, in botany habit is the characteristic form in which a given species of plant grows. Plants may be woody or herbaceous. The main types of woody plants are trees, shrubs, and lianas. Climbing plants can be woody or herbaceous. Plants can also be categorized in terms of their habit as subshrubs, cushion plants, and succulents. There is some overlap between the classifications of plants according to their habit and their life form. Other terms in biology refer similarly to various taxa, for example. Since the distinction between the concepts mode of behavior and morphological form are significant in zoology, the term habitus is used to describe form as distinct from behavior. The term habitus also occurs in botanical texts, but there it is used almost interchangeably with habit, because plant behavior generally does not correspond closely to the concept of habits in the zoological sense. The was in the habit of springing upon the in order to gain admission, if these sensitive parrots are kept in cages, they quickly take up the habit of feather plucking, the spider monkey has an arboreal habit and rarely ventures onto the forest floor, the Britla star has the habit of breaking off arms as a means of defense. Many species of maple have a shrubby habit and may form bushes or hedges rather than trees. Certain alpine plants have been chosen for cultivation because of their dwarf habit. Structure Fungi are described by their growth patterns, molds, yeasts, mushrooms and dimorphic fungi, lichen structure is described their growth form, folios, crustoes, fruticos or gelatinous. Bryophyte structure is described as folios or thalus, the structure of a given species of algae is referred to as its type or level of organization, bacteria are described by their morphology or shape, animal structure is described by its body plan, which encompasses the body symmetry, the type of germ, layers and of body cavities.